How to teach fluency to students. Fluency building at a glance. What is fluency? Fluency is defined as the ability to read with speed, accuracy, and proper expression. In order for children to understand what they read, they must be able to read fluently whether they are reading aloud or silently. When reading aloud, fluent readers read in phrases and add intonation appropriately. Their reading is smooth and has expression. How to teach fluency with accuracy and phrasing? Number one, always model to students how fluent reading sounds like. Number two, Use echo reading with students to build fluency. I read and you read. Number three, integrate whole group reading or partner reading. Defining the strategies. Modeling. Read the text to the students before they do their own oral reading. That can be helpful because it tips kids off to some of the unknown words and gives them some clues about the content. Echo reading, the teacher or education assistant reads a short segment of text, sometimes a sentence or short paragraph, and the students echo it back. Designed to help students develop expressive, fluent reading as well as used for print knowledge. Whole group reading is when the teachers or education assistant deliver the same reading instruction to all students. Partner reading. You have students paired up and they read together. The teacher or education assistant play a very important role in this process. The students need to be supervised during these paired readings and coached while they are reading with their partners. This is part of partner training. Words you need to know when teaching fluency. Reading speed number of words a person can read correctly per minute. Children need to be able to recognize and decode words. Reading fluency is for being able to read accurately at a good pace and with the right expression or intonation. Accuracy refers to reading words without mistakes. Expression refers the ability to change your voice to show feeling when reading. Intonation changing the tone of voice when reading a text aloud in order to make the text interesting for the listener. Phrase, grouping words together as a normal speech, pausing appropriately between phrases, clauses, and sentences. Teaching student fluency in a fun and exciting way. Using fluency phones is a fun way for students to learn fluency reading. Fluency reading is a strategy teachers or education assistants use to help students build reading skills. Fluency phones are a fantastic way for kids to practice reading. When reading into the phone, they can hear themselves. This allows them to pay special attention to tone, pronunciation, pace, and fluidity, especially when reading in a second language. How to make fluency phones? You will need the 3 quarter inch PVC pipe, 3 quarter inch elbow joints, 2 elbow joints for each phone. You can also use half inch PVC pipe and elbow joints if you prefer. Optional patterned or colored duct tape. To make the phones, cut the long PVC pipe into 4 inches or 3 inch sections. Then twist on an elbow joint onto the ends of the pipe. Wrap the fun duct tape around the center. Use the hacksaw to cut your pipe and also you will need a measuring tape and a marker. The next slide, I will be demonstrating how to create your own fluency phone. Good morning, my name is Virginia Moose. I am the Special Education Literacy Coach for Thompson, Manitoba. Today I would like to demonstrate how to create fluency phones or whisper phones to teach fluency to your students. So today 
What I have here, these are all my materials that I will be using. You will need a, a PVC pipe, a three quarter inch, but they only have one and a half inch here today, so it, this is what I'm using. And one and a half inch elbow, but you will also need a three quarter inch on this one. So what you do, if you're gonna, if you're gonna make them, you measure your, uh, your pipe, you take your measuring tape or your ruler, take your marker. You can either make them three inch, you mark your three inch or your four inch. I just do it one side and one side like this and like this. Once that's done, you take your, your saw and then um, you cut, I usually just cut them like this. You cut them straight down like this. And once uh, I pre cut mine so that you don't have to watch that. These are my pre cut ones. This is the four inch one and the three quarter, in the, the three inch one. Okay, so if it's kind of crooked, you would take your utility knife and just cut around it a little just to make it even. Let me do that with it and okay and you might want to use i just use rubber rubber cement and what i do is i just put the glue around put the glue around the uh okay and you take your fittings put them on each side like this take the other one make them look like a phone stick them on like this okay there's your, your whisper phone. So if you wanna make it fancy, use a, uh, a colorful duct tape and you kind of place it around here like this. Take your utility knife your, your, or scissor whatever you need to I'm using the utility knife. This one, if you want to, you can even put it like this around just to make it look a little bit fancy if you want. It's up to you how you, you can create it or you could do a spray paint, you know, a spray paint if you want. It's kind of hard to cut with a utility knife, so just use a a scissor there and then you you take um you take um some uh, a book or just a sentence and just practice reading it and you can hear your voice and when you do this with the kids it's an exciting and a fun way to teach kids fluency so that they could hear their own voice and how they read and that's it for today thank you for joining me and creating my fluency phones today. Eva said.